Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to take a look at another of the 2021 Safari LTD figures. This is actually the last of the Safari LTD regular dinos that we have to review from the 2021 line, as they only released three different species of regular dinosaurs with the Despletosaurus, the Spinosaurus, and now this is the Baryonyx. However, there are also two kind of mythical versions of dinosaurs, which I do have here and I am going to review for you guys, which includes a Tyrannosaurus and a Triceratops. But right now we are concentrated on this gorgeous looking Baryonyx, so let's go ahead and get a closer look at this beautiful figure right now. Before we go any further with the review, I do want to state that Safari LTD was awesome enough to give me a code that allows you to get 15% off when you order this or any other Safari LTD figures today. So make sure if you are interested in this figure, you check the description as I will have a link to actually take you to the Safari LTD website. And when you click that link, it will automatically apply the 15% off discount. So you'll get some money off buying some incredible dinosaur figures. So a huge thank you to Safari LTD for that awesome discount code. But as far as this figure goes, starting up here at the head sculpt, look at the beautiful appearance to that head sculpt. That is just an incredibly nice appearance for a Baryonyx in the head sculpt right there. I absolutely love that. And another thing I love is the coloration of this figure. Even though some people might say it's just kind of, you know, a few variations of browns, I think it looks so incredibly natural on this dinosaur right here and just was a perfect choice on the part of Safari LTD. You can see the nostrils sculpted out up here on the snout of the dinosaur as well as the eyes. The eyes are kind of darkened around the eye and then painted with what appears to be a yellow and a black pupil. Very nice paintwork on the part of Safari LTD as always. They really hit the mark right there as far as the placement of the eye goes. And I'm sure it's no different over here. Nope, absolutely no different. And a really nice gloss coat if my camera would focus on it. But there is a really nice gloss coat to the eye as well. Very, very nice looking, very realistic looking gloss coat. You can also see the nostrils sculpted out over here on this side. They're kind of elaborated with a black coloration. And you can also see that the paintwork here on the face is really nice, really smooth and natural as it starts out with a really dark brown and then transitions to like a lighter brown or like a tannish brown here for the lower half of the dinosaur. Very nicely done as far as that paintwork goes. You can also take note to the fact that there's a little bit of a gloss coat added to the nostrils as well which is something that sometimes companies do sometimes companies don't do that but I absolutely love when they do include that because I feel like it's a very realistic aspect that could potentially be happening on a dinosaur and something that many companies just kind of choose not to include but I do like that Safari LTD does include that you can also see the really nice hooked jaw like we know and love from Baryonyx as well as the really nicely sculpted teeth very nicely painted teeth beautifully done in that aspect however the lower jaw actually doesn't seem to have the teeth painted on this one or at least not very well i'm not sure why that is you can definitely see that they're you know they look like they're painted a little bit over here but uh for the most part it doesn't seem like they're painted all that well on the lower jaw but the upper jaw definitely sports quite a bit of paint on the teeth but for some reason we've missed the paint on the lower jaw however once we look inside the jaw, we can see that there is a gorgeous gloss coat in there and a really nice, very realistic coloration for the inside of the mouth. And when I say it's a really beautiful gloss coat, you can see it's shining there. It really displays the saliva-like look in perfect fashion here on this figure, and I think they've just absolutely nailed it as far as that aspect goes. As we start to move back into the neck region, you can see kind of like some creasing and everything going on here when it comes to the skin texture of the neck of the Baryonyx as well as some dark brown spots that pick up and uh, you can also see the ear sculpted out back here in the rear of the head area of the Baryonyx and actually you can also see that kind of crest the trademark crest up there on the top of the head of the Baryonyx as well but the skin texture looks really quite nice it's almost like a very fine scaling it's not any type of like an overly elaborated scaling or anything but it, it looks quite nice and then coming down here into the body you can pick up on the shoulder blade a little bit right there coming down into the arms you can continue to see how nice the scale detail looks as far as that very fine scaling that we have on the figure some nice creasing there in the joint of the elbow. The hands look pretty nice, and you also have the nails painted with a dark gray, and they do appear to have a slight gloss coat to them, but not any type of like a really flashy gloss coat. Pretty realistic looking gloss coat, I would say. You can also take note to the fact that it seems as though they've kind of applied a dark wash to certain areas of the figure, and you can kind of see that playing off of the detailing here in the arm. You can really see that kind of darker wash shining through with the way that the detailing of the arm is sculpted out. You can also 
sort of pick up on the rib cage a little bit right there in the stomach region of the baryonyx, but not too much. You can see some more creasing going on, some more kind of skin folding going on here in the lower part of the stomach. Again, some more of those dark spots that we have up here in the neck do appear in the stomach region actually quite a bit more, I would say, down there. You can really see the very nice scale detail in the stomach region, again, as it has that very fine scaling to the skin texture of the dinosaur. Very smooth transitions as well between the kind of lighter brown and the darker brown up here. Very realistically applied paintwork. You can see the hip bone right there as we move down into the leg. Very, very nice looking musculature in both the calf and thigh regions of the leg here of the baryonyx. Beautifully sculpted out as far as that goes. You can also kind of see the skin stretching off of the body as this leg is pulling forward and stretching that skin quite nicely. Beautiful foot sculpt right there. Absolutely love the foot sculpt of the baryonyx as well as the very nicely painted nails again with that dark gray. And we can see that the dew claw is present. Of course, we're looking at it on the opposing leg, but it is over here as well. And then coming back up here into the tail, again, you have some more kind of skin folding and stuff going on right there, like some skin creasing, just showing some of the movement of the dinosaur right there. And you can see that the tail has a nice little curve to it when you look at it up here. It's not any type of like a crazy dynamic positioning for the tail, not anything off the wall. It's just a very nice, very realistic curve as it heads in a downward position and then up and then back down to finish the tail off. Really beautiful as far as that goes. And you can see again how smooth that paintwork is. Really gorgeously applied. Very realistically applied. If you look at the underside, you can see some more of that really nice detailing of the dinosaur as well as the cloaca is present right there for that extra bit of realism. And then we move along the underside of the dinosaur. You can actually see a few different colors here on the underside as far as the paintwork that is applied. So it you know, it gives it a very realistic look as far as skin tone goes. Very beautiful on the part of Safari LTD. And then looking over here at this side, you don't see quite as many kind of skin wrinkles, skin folds going on. The Baryonyx has its head turned to the left, so you'll see a little bit more over there, but this side would be stretching a little more, so you don't see that as much going on over here. You can see the ear again, if my camera would focus on it, you can see the ear is again elaborated with a darker coloration over here. You can also pick up on some of those spots that do appear here in the neck region as we move down into the body. The arm is almost in the same position as the opposing side was. You can see it's not too far off as far as the position positioning of the arm goes, but you can also see again that dark wash has been applied and it's really quite nicely sculpted, although there is a little bit of sloppiness to the middle nail there on this hand. You can see some of the paint from the actual body has run up onto the fingernail, but I don't think that's any type of a big issue. And if I really get bothered by that, I could easily fix that. It wouldn't take much. And then moving back here into the body again, lots of skin wrinkles, skin folds going on that you could see pretty much all over the place. You can kind of see the skin stretching off of the body as this leg is pulling back and kind of stretching that skin as the leg is trailing. And you can see again, just generally that skin textured appearance that we've seen throughout the entire figure as far as that very fine scaling, some more of those spots in the stomach region. Again, the hip bone is present back here and you have the very nicely defined musculature of both the thigh and calf region. Once again, like we had seen on the previous side, and then moving down into the foot sculpt, there's a very nice bend to the foot as the dinosaur is just lifting this leg up off the ground to take another step. You can see that the nails are painted again with that grayish coloration and given a slight gloss coat. Looks really, really good, and you can see how beautiful that scale detail looks down here on the foot and leg area. Really gorgeous work here on the part of Safari LTD. And then coming back up into the tail, again, some more of the kind of skin wrinkles and stuff going on right there. And then we run out the length of the tail. Again, we see those beautiful shades of brown that are included on the figure, the really nice smooth transitions, the gorgeous scale detail that pretty much litters this figure, and just generally an overall gorgeous looking Baryonyx by Safari LTD. They did a great job on this figure, and it actually might be my favorite of their 2021 year. Another exciting aspect to this figure is the fact that it does balance pretty well. It has no standing issues whatsoever as far as mine goes currently, so that is nice to see on the part of this figure. And as far as a size goes, for a length, you are going to see it come in at about nine and a half inches or about 24 centimeters in length, and then for a height, about three and a half inches 
or nine centimeters. For a size comparison, here are two other Safari LTD theropods that we have received from them over the past few years, as we have the Despletosaurus, which is also a 2021 figure, and then the Concavenator, which I do believe was from last year. So hopefully next to these figures, you'll have a pretty good idea of the size of this Baryonyx. I would say it is a very nice medium-sized figure, pretty much sitting in the same size range as the others from this year, as you can again see that it's very similarly sized to the Despletosaurus back there. Of course, the Despletosaurus has just generally some more bulk to the body, but in the size range department, I would say it's probably a medium size. So this 2021 Safari LTD Baryonyx is a really, really nicely done figure, but that is no surprise. Being a Safari LTD figure, they always supply us with gorgeous figures every single year. I was sad to see that there were so little as far as the prehistoric offerings this year, but that seems to be a continuing trend from most companies as everything going on with the world this year just kind of put a pretty abrupt halt on most production and pretty much everything in life. So... There was definitely a few more figures previously in the previous few years from Safari LTD, but the ones that we did receive this year, as far as the regular dinosaurs go, they're all absolutely gorgeous, each and every one of them, and this Baryonyx is absolutely no different. And again, it may be my favorite from this year because it's just such a beautifully sculpted out and painted version of a Baryonyx. I am a huge fan of the sculpt. There's nothing crazy going on as far as the positioning of the body. It's just kind of walking along. But it's a very nice, very natural looking pose for the dinosaur. So it's, you know, something that I'm 100% okay with. If it looks natural, I like it. And this definitely has a very nice natural pose to it. The actual sculpting aspect of the figure as well is really quite nicely done. And Safari LTD has done a gorgeous job of showing off that sculpt with some beautiful paintwork as far as the different variations of brown that we have included. And they have done a great job of even applying washes to certain areas to kind of make that detail pop a little bit better and then the actual transitioning between colors is so smooth and so realistic again just furthering my love for this figure making it look so lifelike so natural as far as the paintwork goes so as far as this figure goes i think pretty much everything about it is awesome really top-notch release yet again from safari ltd to really just kind of put the icing on the cake for the three figures that they had released this year as far as the normal prehistoric figures go Again, this is a gorgeous Baryonyx and definitely a recommendation from me. So make sure that if you are interested in picking up this Baryonyx, you check the description. I will have a link down there that you can just click and go straight to the Safari LTD website. It will automatically apply the 15% discount that is exclusive to my channel. So make sure you do that or you use the code Andy at checkout. And then again, save yourself 15% off that way. But it's probably easier to just go ahead and click the link in the description. That should take you straight over there and again apply that discount to pick up this or any other of the incredible safari ltd figures that they have available and make sure you keep checking back to the channel because of course i do still have two other safari ltd figures for this year to review and that would be the two mythical dinosaurs but as far as the main line regular dinosaurs go this is the last of those for the 2021 year. So again, make sure you check the description, head on over to the Safari LTD website and use the discount to get yourself some incredible dinosaur figures and make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.